what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today we have this 2006 toyota 4runner and today we are going to program an additional key uh using the launch x431 pro and well the reason i'm getting a new key is because well actually programming a new key it's because this key right here is a ballet key and it will not allow me to do uh, programming. Let me just show you really quick. If we go to transponder code registration, we go over here and it says, welcome to the transponder wizard. It says remove the key and insert it back and open the switch. When I press okay, it says that the transponder registration failed because it's not a master key. So that's happening with the original key from this car. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and do the same procedure with this one and if it fails we're gonna do all keys missing so let's just let's just do this one right here close it let's open it again and it says registration fail insert the key is not register it's not a register master key insert a master key into the cylinder so we need to register a master key like I said, this is a valid key, and if you're stuck in kind of this problem, then I would recommend you to get a master key. Um, they sell these keys on Amazon. And well, we're gonna do now the all missing keys with this scanner because that's pretty much what we need to do in order to register a master key. So this function will erase all the keys, and you need the master key at least. So we're gonna press OK. We're gonna wait 10 seconds. As you can see, the uh, light for the immobilizer is lit on. So it's gonna communicate and let's wait. Just at that first master key, set the master key into the lock and wait for five seconds. So we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna hold it there and do not turn on. Insert the adapt key quickly. Cycle the initial switch on and off five times and the security key should go off. So let's do five times quick. One, two, three, four, five. And there we go. So you can see the light went off. That means the security key is already adapted. And if you want to insert a second key, then just wait to the same procedure again and adapt to keys and on and on. So we're gonna turn it off and then we're gonna leave the key inserted. As you can see, the light is flashing and when we insert the key, the light should go off. That means the key is already broken. So now let's turn it on. And boom, key is already programmed. All right, so now we're gonna try this one, but this one is already erased and we're gonna see the light flash. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use the same master key. We're gonna open the switch and now we're gonna do the transponder code registration. So we're gonna press OK. OK again. Close the switch and turn it on again. We're gonna press OK. And we're gonna remove this master key from the cylinder. We're gonna press OK. And then we're gonna insert the other one that we want to program. And we're not gonna turn the ignition off. We're just gonna leave it there. We're gonna press OK and we're gonna wait about one minute until this light goes off. So as you can see it's still flashing. So I'll be back when the light starts flashing. Usually the scanner will tell you once the key is already registered. Alright, so as you can see, sub key it's already registered. And we're gonna insert a register key, master key, and turn the ignition on. So we're gonna switch the key, turn the ignition on and press OK. And well, it's gonna start the whole process again, but we already that did, we already did the process, so we're gonna test our sequential key or ballet key. As you can see, it took a little bit of time to turn off. That means that it's a ballet, ballet key. And well, the master key, usually when you turn, when you put it in, it vanishes right away. As you can see. And now we test our other key. And there we go, boom. 
all right guys so i already got the new key fobs right here uh i got these uh key fobs from amazon and these work really good uh this is the original one i changed the battery on this and it didn't work so this one is no good anymore so what i'm gonna show you right now is it's gonna be the manual procedure to do this so let me explain you really quick how you can program these key fobs so you gotta open your door like this it must be unlocked you're gonna insert your master key two times into the ignition one two take it out close the door once again leave it open then you're gonna insert this once then do the same procedure again one two leave it open this time we're gonna insert the key and open it without starting it you're gonna close the door and take out the key and you're gonna hear use those uh, lock cycles so I'm gonna do it really quick because it took me some time to explain so let me just do this really fast hold on You gotta close the door first and then do this and you heard that so now you're gonna do this there you go that's one and there you go and that's how you program the key fobs for this 2006 Toyota RAV4 and we did the key chip programming with the Launch X431 Pro. Um, I'll leave both of the links where I got these keys and the scanner. If you want a cheaper version too, I'll leave all those links in the description. And well, you can check them out. And I hope you guys liked the information on this video. Please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, comment down below, turn notifications on, and I'll see you on the next episode. Yeah, we fix out guys. Bye.